All right, this is going to be a quick video on how to save a partition as an image and then use that image and restore that partition onto a target hard drive. And I'm going to show you what I'm working with here. I'll be using this Lubuntu operating system or virtual machine. <clears throat> and I have three hard drives connected here. As you can see in setup port 0, 1, and 2, which is the actual operating system, a virtual external hard drive, and the target drive. So three hard drives connected to this machine. And right now I have booted Parted Magic on the machine. And I'll show you in Partition Editor. <clears throat> this is the source drive right here. It's got my Lubuntu operating system on it and a swap partition which is basically a space on your hard drive reserved so that the computer could use it as RAM basically. This right here will be, this is my external hard drive, my virtual external hard drive and it's already been formatted to X2 so it's ready to be used and this is my target drive right here SDC and this one I just formatted it as X4. There's nothing on there right now. So that's the target drive, and we'll go ahead and get started. Let's close this up. Now we'll go into disk cloning. We'll select device image, local device. And right here, if you're using if you're using an external hard drive, you're gonna have to give it a couple of seconds, like a, a USB external hard drive. Give it a couple of seconds and then hit enter. And this is where you want your image to go. So SDB, which is the virtual external hard drive that I have on there. And top directory in the local device, hit enter. I'll select the beginner mode. Right here, I'm going to select save parts, which says save local partitions as an image. You could do save disk if you wanted to, and it would save the entire disk as an image. But I'm going to go ahead and select parts. And right here, I'm just going to give it a quick name. Lubuntu, and I'll leave the date on there just for my own reference. Okay, right here, you want to select the source. And you want to select it by hitting spacebar. And it puts a little asterisk right there in the little box right here. So once you hit spacebar, you can hit enter. And I'll just skip this. Skip checking, repairing, source file system, enter. And yes, I do want to check the saved image to see if it's restorable. Hit enter. Enter once more. And I'll hit yes. And the cloning process is beginning now. And right now it's checking the image to make sure it's restorable. Hit enter to continue. Oh, hang on a sec. Okay, now hit enter to continue. Okay, now we'll go back into Clonezilla. And we're actually going to restore the operating system that was on the source drive using that image that we created onto the target drive. So let's go ahead and get started. 
We're going to be working with device image. Hit enter. Local device. And enter. And we need to select where the image is stored, which is SDB for myself. Top directory in the local device. Hit enter. Beginner mode. And restore parts. It says restore an image to local partitions. Hit enter. And here's our image right here. So hit enter. And right now we need to select the target drive, SDC, and enter, hit enter once more. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Let me ask you again, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And the, res the restoration is beginning now. Okay. All right, hit enter to continue. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go to part into partition editor. And here is the drive, the target drive. I remember the source drive had this swap partition in here, and we're about to create that right now. So we'll go to the target drive and right click here and hit resize move and we'll just slide this bar to the left and you can adjust this to however big you want your swap file to be your swap partition you can make it bigger or smaller it's up to you if you're not happy with it later on you can always go back and resize it so resize move I'm gonna right click here and select new and right here I'm going to select extended partition and for the label I'm just going to put extended add and right here on unallocated I'm going to right click select new and logical partition and select Linux swap and I'm just going to name it swap click add and apply apply close this and we're going to go ahead and as you can see now it looks more like the source drive with that extended partition and the Linux swap in there here's that source drive this one has a little unallocated at the end but it doesn't make a difference so we'll close this up right here and shut this down. All right, now I'm going to go in the settings of my virtual machine and the storage, and I'm going to remove the source drive, which is this one right here, Lubuntu VDI. Remove, and I'm going to remove that virtual external that I had in there. So all I have left is the target drive that we restored the image to. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to go ahead and start this up. And as you can see, it's working just fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, hit the like button or subscribe. And maybe I'll see you guys in another tutorial.